anarchism for me in a nutshell is about balancing what it means to strive for each of us being a free individual in a free society. And that those two things are both transparently, continually kind of butting against each other, but also complementing each other. So ultimately, in a nutshell, anarchism is what it would look like to move increasingly toward a free society of free individuals. And in a nutshell, I think the project of liberalism or social democracy or other politics of that nature are asking what it means to be a free individual, to be very, like, at their core, like are trying to look at individual liberty. Um, and communistic and socialistic um, forms have often asked what it would mean to have a free community. But neither are right. And what I really think is beautiful about anarchism is that it actually understands that I can never be free unless I live in a free society. And a free society can never be free unless it's made up of individuals who see themselves as also in fully who they want to be. But that there's always going to be a bit of a tension between those two. So, And the tension could actually be good in the sense that we can continually balance and push out what it means to have both. So the negotiation space between how they do that, I think, is where anarchism occurs. And so when anarchists are asking, well, what does it mean to have a free society of free individuals, we look to categories like cooperation between, or solidarity, or um, mutual aid, or love, dignity, respect. <laughs> a whole bunch of words that to some degree sound utopian, which they are, <laughs> and rosy, which they are, but some of the kind of best aspirations of what it means to be human but combining both that to the freedom of the self and the freedom of society and bringing those two together. Um, and it's how we would do that. The last thing I'd say about what I understand anarchism to be, in, in brief, is that often anarchists take the word self and hyphenate it and add it to almost a lot of other words, and the self is very socially infused. So anarchism is about how we would self-determine who we want to be for ourselves and society self-manage, how we want to produce things and distribute things and make things and give things to each other, how we would self-govern in terms of how we would make decisions to do everything from education to arts to um, public spaces to homes, um, a whole bunch of other sort of you know self-governance, self-organization, um, and that probably is the key one that people understand anarchism as, is how can we have top, not top-down forms of organization but bottom-up forms of self-organization where the self means all of us together trying to continually shape and make and um, yeah, create a world where everyone can feel fully who they want to be and communities that feel fully what they want to be. Um, and lastly, with anarchism, um, in the negative, people often talk about it as the absence of domination or the absence of coercion, um, the absence of hierarchy. But I really like to focus it on the positive of the, the filling in of freedom.